Good morning everyone, it's the next day. We kind of forgot to end filming last night, but I come to you this morning in our lovely solarium. Very backlit right now, but it's fine. It's a nice day out there. We have seagulls, we have sun, we have everything we need, including shouting children. Hey, I'm not shouting. Well, you're not shouting, but this little one is shouting. Um, plans changed slightly last night. Donna didn't make it out, she actually fell asleep on the bed. And, yeah, and they, everyone fell asleep, so it was a nice relaxing night, really. Um, so, yeah, today we are getting up, going for breakfast, and then we've got a couple of shows this morning, I think, including then we go to Ella PJ Masks. And then we go to Ella and Sophie. We are going to see Ella, Ella and Sophie, aren't we? Ella and yeah, we have a couple of shows including the PJ Masks and I think Goldilocks is this morning too. Goldilocks? I think there's a Goldilocks show too, but I don't know if we can see it. It's confusing. It was cancelled the other day and they've rescheduled it today, but I think it might clash with another show, so I don't know if we can see it. Um, we are going to do some rides too. I'm getting to that. Man, he's good at this. Can we go on trains? Yes. We'll try to get on some trains. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Okay. And we're going to try to get to Minehead Town today and have a little wander. We've got a lot on our itinerary. We'll maybe get a cream tea and probably spend some more time at the beach. And it's not like we've got a show. Is it musical, musical rock or rocks, something? It's called. So. Which will be a Butlins production. Another Butlins production. What did you think of last night? I thought it was brilliant. I mean, it started off really iffy, to be honest. And when those people came on the stage, I was like, oh no. I thought it was alright. They've got some fillers in here. But actually it turned out really well. What did you think, Matilda? It was amazing. Did you love it? Yeah, the dancing was very, very good. It was good dancing, wasn't it? Lots of Ricky Martin, lots of Gloria Estefan. Yeah. And stuff it was good. Very good. It's really good. Very, very good. But um, yeah, now I'm going to go and get some breakfast because a little man over there has demanded pancakes. Let's go get some pancakes. So we've had breakfast and making our way to the pavilion. <laughs> There's lots of kids already on the, I don't know what to call it, the high ropes? Let's call it the high ropes. They're on the first level. You notice there's a bike up there right at the top, so you can ride your bike really high up. That's weird. I think last time we were here we had the big tent over there where the circus was, but now it's just filled with picnic tables. That circus was good, wasn't it? It was good. It was, it was really a bit good. crazy. Yeah. Scoop ice cream shop. We haven't eaten here yet, but this is similar to one they had in Bogner. So you have all your different gelatos, you pick how many scoops and your flavour, your tub, and your toppings. Can't wait to try that later. It's going to be a hot day today, so we're going to do all that. We've got a firehouse grill here at In on the Green. Nice pub, nice Nando style restaurant. We like my nest. Nice early morning in the pavilion. Things are quiet. Things are very quiet. I think now's a good time to get on the uh, grabber machines. I think they pay out early instead of late. Oh, well, you've got stars. Wow, that really was fantastic. I enjoyed myself. Did all of you? I said, did all of you? Here at the Puppet Castle, but you can join us for more puppet fun at Timothy today. Lake's found a kiddie rides. Until being dragged along. Lake's found them. This is where we lost all our money last time, remember? This is the place. This is the place where all the money disappears. This is quite cool, there's a little like car game in there, so you steer along and you try not to crash. Blake's not very good at that, but you know. It's all a learning curve. Mm, so we've come into Studio 36 and we are going to watch a PJ Masks show. Or is it a meet and greet? Either way, we're going to watch something with PJ Masks in it. PJ Masks is over. We've come back into centre stage because we're going to see the Goldilocks pantomime. James up here ahead, it's fine. Bar's open. 
like 11 o'clock. Buckins baby. Oh, it's busy in here already. Let's get a nice seat. Yeah, other end's better. Oh. Yes. Hello everyone! Well, you're all a little bit early, but you're still more than welcome. Oh, in fact, you can all join the circus and be part of our gang! Boom! Just finished Goldie Lofts. How was it? Oh, it was fantastic. Wasn't it brilliant? Yeah, I knew it would be. They always do a good pantomime here, don't they? The costumes are fantastic. They, they must spend a lot of money on that pantomime. Yeah. And like all the props, everything. There's not a mark on anything. It's so good, isn't yeah. it? And the jokes are like quite adult as well in places. The kids don't get it's like it. A but it's like a proper British pantomime, how it should be. Yeah, 100%. It's so good. So we saw that, we highly rate it. Turn the buttons, go watch Goldie Lock. So good. But we're now in the Skyline Pavilion waiting for the Skyline Gang. Till really wants to see them. She's very excited. She's so excited to see Candy. She is. The whole gang. I think we might have a coffee. Do you want a coffee? Yeah. Yeah, a little, little coffee, a little Costa. Yeah. Just tie this over for lunch. <laughs> So we've taken a little tiny stroll into Minehead Town, just so we can see. Loads of nice little independent shops here, which is lovely. And we've got some, a new belt and some bags from the leather shop. And now we've just come into this place here called Cream. So we can get a little bit of lunch, a little something to eat and get out of the heat for a little bit. It's quite nice in here. All kinds of milkshakes and snacks and sandwiches. As you can see here we've got milkshakes, coffees, snacks. I'll give you a ten if you need all that. That's a lot of clot of cream. Yeah, I'm Kirstie's going to town. What have you got done? Toast tea cake? Toast tea cake. Yeah man, me too. And a chocolate milkshake, country milkshake. Lovely, really nice, thank you. Okay. I've got a Biscoff milkshake baby. Mm. Tea cake. We've got BLT. BLT. Got an invisible sandwich. Nice, that's good. That's good. It's so good. Guess where we are? One guess. That's right, we're on the beach. Again. We had a very, very nice snack and ice creams. Ice creams? Milkshakes, didn't we? And now we've come down onto Minor Beach again to enjoy the sun and the heat. And just have a nice time because we loved it that down here yesterday didn't we it's a lovely little beach it can be a bit dangerous down there with like sinking sand if you go right down there because that sea is probably about a mile out till it gets quite boggy and horrible so you have to kind of stay this end so we'll chill down here for an hour or so soak in the nice weather and then head back for something to eat something to eat yeah but yeah it's nice so kids are happy yeah kids are happy messing around and we can just chill out chill for a bit Chill, I might try and find some more fossils. Didn't find very many yesterday. In fact, I found none yesterday. I'd like to, I'd like to find some. There's a lot of rocks around here, so we'll see. We'll see what I can find. Blakey, what are you doing? I'm making a sandcastle. Making a sandcastle, that's cool. James won't smack it. James won't smack it, that's fine. What about you, Till? What are you guys doing? Well, we're really Remaking the wall from yesterday. You made a nice dam, didn't you? For all this water filters down. I still have my shorts on. I know you still have your shorts on, but that's fine. Let's see what you guys can make today, huh? So again, this beach isn't really very busy. And there's Butlins. A big old tent. We heard a rumour they might be taking that tent down because it only lasts for a certain amount of time. As in, like, there's a best before date on it before it starts to perish. So, we heard that they're going to take it down. I'm assuming they'll replace it with something similar, but um, I don't think it's been publicly announced yet as to what it's going to be. But yeah, it's a very quiet beach. People are probably staying away because of the heat, but well, I don't know. All these people got a barbecue over there. Just there. 
Right, let's see if we can find some fossils as these kids are digging. So we are strolling down towards the rocks. We're doing some crab hunting. Yesterday we found some cool crabs. This is an example of dangerous sand here on Miner Beach. It's not sand, it's clay. It's very, very sticky. And you don't want to get stuck in that, believe me. So you shouldn't come too far down, just in case. You want to stay, sorry, near to the rocks isn't too bad. But I think we're probably better off going up back that way, just to be safe. It does proper get stuck to your feet. So we'll try this again, away from the clay sand over there where all the people are walking. You need to be careful. We're going to try and find some crabs over in these rocks because there's lots of water pooling around everywhere. And I'm sure we could find another one. Let's see what we can see. We found these little baby sea worms. There's two of them. One's moving less than the other one. He's going. He's digging underground. That's cool. Ah. So we did some research and the worms that we found were actually lugworms. But now we're just releasing our friend the crab. Bye Mr. Crab. Have a good life back in your rock pool. We caught you and now you can go. It's been fun. It's been emotional. So it turns out the red worms that we found were called lugworms. And the lugworms are the little guys who live on the beach and they clean up the sand underneath probably eating all the little bugs and microbes that live in the sand but um, they're the guys who leave the like little coiled worms of sand on the shore a bit like this so there you go that's what a lugworm will leave behind and there are lugworm leavings everywhere so yeah we've just let the let the crab go and now we're gonna go and do some more building hey Tom. yeah did you have fun at the beach? Yes. The beach was cracking. We had a really good time. We were there for ages. It's now like half six maybe. And um, we've got a show at half seven, so we've got like half an hour to eat. And then head round to the show. So it's gonna be tight, but we're getting our money's worth, right John? We are. Getting the money's worth. So let's go and grab something to eat. And I might have said to you before, but tonight is like musicals rock, so. It's going to be, to that, we? we are looking forward to it, it's going to be a lot of, I think, We Will Rock You, Rock of Ages. That's how they refurbish those that chalets, they rip them out, look. Oh yeah, there's a chalet up right there. Back. You can probably see in the door, they've kind of ripped everything out. So, yeah, let's go and grab something, something to eat. It's very light tonight, I think, it's not very hungry. No, we had a um, tea cake. We had a toasted currant tea cake, as you probably saw, so, not feeling that hungry. We'll go and grab a little something nice. It's very hot. It is very hot. It's a bit Spain. too hot to eat. Spain eat your heart out. We've come to centre stage. I'm trying to talk really loudly so we don't get a copyright claim from the music. But um, they're playing a lot of American rock. We're ready for the musicals rock show, which is just about to play. And we've got a nice little spot stage right. So fingers crossed it's going to be a good show. We're looking forward to it. Drinks are in. Adam is waiting for his time to shine, the camera. Oh wait. <laughs> Sorry, Adam just had a rant about local businesses. He loves the fact mine heads for the local businesses, right? I do. Tell I do. It's nice to see local businesses thriving. Yeah. Like, there's, there's nothing. There was nothing commercial there, was that? No, not at all. And it's nice. It is really nice. It is nice. There you go. Good shot, Minehead, place to be. Caesar. I've raised from Caesar. So we've left 
What was it called? Musicals Rock. Yeah, at Center that. Stage. That was good. I enjoyed that. Blake was running around like a fool. Oh, but, um, he did put a little girl. Then he started a mosh pit. Standard Blake. But um, yeah, it was good. And now he's coming to Studio 36 because they've got a live band playing. Urban intro. Funking your soul. Funking your soul. That's the tagline. We're not making the stuff up. It says it up on the screen. <laughs> We're not making up crap. Sounded good though, didn't it? It, it sounded so like good. you were really cool. So we're going to uh, watch this, have some drinks and uh, enjoy our final night. We're in excited really. Minor. Yeah, it's gone. We normally go like Monday to Friday, so it's a bit longer, isn't it? We have an extra day in a bit. But because we're doing uh, Friday to Monday, it seems a bit short, doesn't it? Yeah. But we've had a good time. I think it's shorter this time because Blake's enjoyed it so much. Last time we wanted to get home like two days before. Whereas this time yeah, it's he like, was, oh. um, he was crazy last time, yeah. wasn't he? Especially when, remember in the circus, he was a yeah. nightmare. Like this time he's sat and watched shows, he's enjoyed them, he's gone down the front and actually listened and like followed the rules. Yeah, he has. He's done really well. So, has gone really quick, really enjoyed it. So, maybe we'll be back. Who knows? Oh, Jake! Who knows? Jake! Well, Blake really enjoys oh, it. Oh, right, like... okay. Somebody likes buttlings! Yeah, Blake does like buttons. No, you just said you might be back. Maybe we will. We might find a good deal. Yeah, or we might do centre parks, huh? Adam centre parks? I'm up for centre parks. Four buttons again. I don't Thank mind you, doing buttons again. Uh, I've buttons. really enjoyed this one. Buttons. I've never been to this one before. This one's really good. My head is nice. It's better than Bogman. Yeah, because yeah. you've got so many different stages. I've never seen so many shows. In yeah, life. it's been great. In 12 hours, we have absolutely nailed it. We have nailed it in 12 hours. Haven't we? We've done awesome. Yeah, it's been like Marathon, yeah, yeah, it's been great. So yeah, we might be back. We'll see. Watch your space. Watch your space. That's right, that's me in a romantic sunset. We've um, finished in the Studio 36 and we have come to the beach. Before we were playing right down there but the tides come in loads. So we just sat here, chilling out, had a little drink, just enjoying the sound of the waves and the sunset really. What more could you want? But then fine Ned, right on the beach. Right for this kind of thing. Adam and Kersey did say that down there, that all down that way, there were some people playing music and some lovely vibes going on. But I don't think there's any of that down here today. It looks quite quiet, to be honest. We might have a little wander, a little look, and see what we can see. But yeah, this looks nice behind me. I'm impressed. Oh, the cousins. The cousins are having a little photo op. Hang on. We've got to see this. This is amazing. Oh, look at them all. Ella, Sophie, Blake, James and Matilda. Oh, that's amazing. Look at them. That might be the most adorable thing you've ever seen. It's night time. We're out on our little veranda. Patio. Patio. Terrace. Patio. Right, it's patio. It is a patio. Eating chips. As we reflect on the day. Blake is asleep already. It took him two seconds to fall asleep. Surprise. Mm -hmm. So we're just sat chilling because our bungalow is ridiculously hot. We've got every window open right now apart from Blake's. These patio doors are a killer in this heat. So we're just enjoying the fresh air. All the windows open I before you venture inside. Somehow done not open the patio door. Don't mean I can close it though. So we'll see um, if we can get that closed. But <coughs> yeah, we figured we'd um, let all the cool air in for a bit before we go and venture in and chill out for the night. <coughs> but yeah, we had a good night. Good band, good musical, and good walks on the beach. We have done so much today. Today has been rammed, hasn't it? Yeah. So you think this morning we started with a puppet show? Mm-hmm. 
we then went to the pantomime. Yeah. No, we went to PJ Masks. Yeah. Then the pantomime. Mm -hmm. Then the Skyline Gang. Mm -hmm. Then the beach. Walked along Minehead. Then the beach. So much stuff. Dinner. Yeah. Musical rocks. Musical rocks. Urban something. The band was called Urban something. They weren't great. Urban sound, maybe? Yeah, Urban sound. Jake's, they were okay. Uh, Blake's been um, chatting up the old... Uh, All the red coats. Red coats. He was Love running from red, red, one red coat to the other, just banging into them. They loved him. Mm. Standard. And we finished the night by the sea. Yeah, it was nice, wasn't it? Yeah. Sunset. Every time I pan to Donna, the, the light goes yeah, down. Don't so. put me in it. <laughs> Apologies. So, yeah, that was an end to a lovely day. And um, we travel home tomorrow. So which is a bit of a shame. This trip's gone really, really quick. We've had the weather, though. Oh. We've had a lovely weather. But um, just wish we didn't have a bungalow with a solarium. <laughs> <laughs> Literally feels like Florida inside our room. Yeah, it does. But um, I guess we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.